Hi, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're well. Uh, here's a quick tutorial on how to take your WooCommerce shop page to the next level and hopefully sell more products. Well, you will sell more, more products because it'll look more enticing. So this is the um, the default WooCommerce uh, default shop page and you'll see thousands of websites that look like this and it's okay. It's a sort of traditional grid layout. However, this looks nicer in my view. This is what you could achieve. So this is the same shop page, but highly customized. So you can um, lay out this page exactly how you want. And this is using Poodle Page Builder Pro. And it's super easy to do. This one we're looking at here, I just created it. It only took me a few minutes and you'll see it's got this nice big uh, video at the top, this banner at the top with some text in it. Uh, down here, we've got some featured products uh, with just a really nice carousel in there. And you, you can choose exactly what products you put into these carousels. And then further on down, we've got this nice uh, parallax, fixed parallax hero images we scroll up. And then finally under here, we've just got some bestsellers. So I'm gonna show you how to build that. Now, the beauty of doing it this way is you essentially, you can you can lay this page out however you like. You can, so anything you can imagine, uh, you can build. And when your visitors hit the shop page, it's obviously a much more exciting experience than the, the uh, de default WooCommerce shop layout. So um, it looks far more pro and it's super easy to do. And the other great thing is it's super easy to change. So once you've done it, you'll be able to change it at any time as your shop evolves. Okay, so let's build a page. And what we're gonna do essentially is build a brand new page and then just replace this shop page in my menu. It really is as simple as that. So I'm gonna click add new live page from the admin toolbar. Now I'm gonna work incredibly quickly. You'd obviously be taking more time over this page than I am today. I just want to work fast just to show you how simple this is. Um, and I'm just going to give it a title and then I'm just going to add a background uh, video behind this row here which is going to serve as my nice big banner so I just click on the row styling icon and I'm going to set background video and I should have a video here there's my video and the only other thing I'm going to do is set that video to be full width and I'm going to set a row height of just 700 pixels just so we can see a bit more of it and you'll see I've got a nice big banner at the top here of my what's going to become my shop page uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just drag that to a position where I want within that row and I'm just going to style the text quickly so I'm just going to make the text white and then to finish off I'm going to just style the titles white as well and I'm going to make an h1 and I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger just so it's got more emphasis and then I'm just going to give this text a nice bit of finesse at the end. Okay, so that's my nice big hero banner at the top. And then under here, I'm gonna bring some products. So I'm gonna add um, just some text to start with, just to introduce, introduce my products. And I'm gonna bring in some featured products. And again, you could write exactly what you like in here. So you've got 100% control over what this page looks like. And this is the exciting bit. I'm gonna bring in the WooCommerce drag and drop module. And you've got tons and tons of options here. So I'm not gonna go through them all here because we have other tutorials that you can check out that talk through these in much more detail. But you can bring in products by category, individual products, best selling, all sorts of stuff. And then you can style them as well. So I'm just gonna bring in featured products and I'm gonna bring in, uh, let's just bring in four and I'm gonna make them a carousel. In fact, let's go to a grid of three. And you can do other cool stuff like hide the price and hide the added cart button, all that kind of stuff you might want to do here. So looking good already. Uh, the next thing we had under here on my um, page was a nice big hero image coming underneath. So I'm just gonna drag the, just for speed. In fact, let me do it a slightly different way. I'm gonna um, add one column. And uh, again, I'm just gonna put a background image behind here and I'm gonna search and splash for this, just search fashion. Obviously you could choose your own images here, I'm just working super fast. And then again, I'm gonna make this layout full width and I'm gonna give it a row height of 600 pixels. And actually the other thing I'm gonna do here is I'm going to make it a fixed parallax. There we go, there's my nice big fixed parallax image. You see how that's... Um, frozen as I move up and down the page. And I'm just gonna delete that content box because I don't want any text within that. There we go, looking great. And then finally under here, uh, we had another section. 
so here, which was bestsellers. Just to finish things off. And again, you could take more time over the styling of all this stuff. I'm just working really quickly. And again, I'm gonna add the WooCommerce module down here. And instead of choosing features, I'm gonna choose best selling products. And again, I'm just gonna have three by three, just for speed. And I'm gonna make it a carousel again. And there we go, there's my, there's my best selling products coming in. Uh, so it's looking you know, a whole lot better than the, the default WooCommerce page. And you can carry on, you could take much more time over this as well. Now, once you're finished, all you have to do is publish it, give it a, um, give it a title. Obviously you could call it whatever you like, I'm calling it my store. And then all you have to do then is go into your menus and add that page to your, to, to your menu to replace your base shop page up here. Let me show you that quickly if I go to menus. You'll see there's my new page that I just published. I'm just gonna add it to the menu. So we're just in standard Woo, uh, WordPress here. Re uh, remove my other shop page. Now when I visit the website, um, and go to my store. There we go, that's my, um, that's my new shop page. So that's how you can easily customize the um, default WooCommerce shop page.